Welcome Mo, ladies and gentlemen, Mo. Thank you very much. Thank you, Les. Um, this is the uh, the first time I've uh, I've held a mic in my hand that uh, it didn't have a five o'clock shadow and a set of nuts on them. <laughs> anyway, my name's Mo, and uh, a lot of people ask me, "Hey, what's that short for?" Well, it's being Pride Month, I thought I would let you know it's short for homo. <laughs> what? What were you thinking? Homo sapien. I, I saw you over there looking at me. Anyway, uh, the, Sarasota is a beautiful place. I don't really live here, but I come up here a lot. The place is beautiful. The city keeps it up really nicely. I really love it up here. I did take a vacation recently. I heard Mexico is beautiful. I went down there to a luxury hotel. I had... Uh, you know, those places where they wait on your hand and foot. So I got a taxi cab from the airport and uh, pulled up in front of the hotel. I gotta tell you, the place was a dump and it looked like a hurricane had just blown through there. There were trees down, there were leaves all over the place and I thought, oh man, my room better not suck. So I checked into my room, I get upstairs, I open the door, it's a fucking mess. I couldn't believe it. I called front desk and I said, hey, I need some room service. This lady comes up with a vacuum cleaner and said, here you go. It wasn't room service, it was self-service. I had to clean the toilet, I had to even wipe my own ass. <laughs> oh my God, and I know why. I know why it's like that down there, because Sarasota has hired all their cleaning people. <laughs> oh. oh. I'm a goldsmith. I don't dig gold. I don't eat, make matzo balls, and I don't go to temple. I make jewelry. Um, I have a lot of nice customers. They're older people. I live down in the Naples area, and I have this guy that comes in quite a bit. His name's Dick, and he loves jewelry. His girlfriend thinks that he loves jewelry more than he does. So he came in the other day and ran right over to the case and said, Hey, what do you think of that ring? She said, Well, I need another piece of jewelry. Like, like I need a hearing aid to hear you. I'm 80 years old. I, I need another piece of jewelry. Like I need a 30-year mortgage. I need another piece of jewelry. Like I need some glasses to see you. You, you haven't been looking too good lately, Dick. <sighs> Mo doesn't make anything people need. Oh, he bought the ring. My girlfriend, she loves the jewelry that I make. One day she said, oh, I really like that necklace your mother wears. Does she talk like that? Yeah. <laughs> now, but after nine years, that's what that sounds like in my head. <laughs> anyway, I usually get her a gift, and, you know, she doesn't usually like it, but she smiles. So this time I thought, fine, I'll get her a gift for her birthday that she asked for. So I got her one of the necklaces my mother had. It was a life alert pendant. <laughs> oh, be careful what you ask for. I have a lot of customers from New York. I have one customer. He's from Staten Island. He's, uh, he's a smoker. He's got greasy hair, little short guy. Smokes a lot, of course. And uh, his eyes go in two different directions. I really can't tell who he's looking at when he's talking to me. I, I've looked over my shoulder before thinking somebody was sneaking up behind me. One day, I'm in front of his face like this. I thought there was a fly in the room. Then I see his eyes start to roll back. I thought he was having a heart attack. But he shares a lot of personal stuff with me, and I'm not too comfortable with it, but I have to listen to it because he's in the store. Hey, Mo, I, uh, I saw this girl the other day. She's 20 years old. She had a boob job. I can't fucking believe it. Oh, Jesus, man, the only thing I would do is to get an extension to my P-trap, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, if I'm not mistaken, a P-trap trap is that U-shaped pipe under your bathroom sink. And if he's got that shape of a pipe, I think he ought to get treated by that new commercial I've seen for bentcarrot.com. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. I gotta tell you, okay? You better use that thing before you're 65, because it's going to stop working. I thought, oh, great, I got something to look forward to. <laughs> yeah, I'm 68 years old. I got to take Cialis. I said, oh, hey, great. Yeah, I got to take a half of Cialis every morning just to find my dick to take a piss. 
So I moved down here with my girlfriend and my wife. And, uh, you know, I wanted to retire. What does she do? She goes out and gets a fucking job, right? She's a receptionist for this doctor's office over here. They're paying her $12 an hour. Jesus, I would have paid her $12 an hour to stay home with me. I would have paid her $20 an hour if she made me dinner. Christ, I would have paid her $50 an hour if she told her friends I was her husband. <laughs> a lot of my friends call me metrosexual, and if you don't know what that is, it means that you're a little more feminine than a male, and that you might have a better relationship with a woman than a guy. And I had a girl, oh, actually, I, uh, I can actually relate to pregnant women, oddly enough, because I'm having a beer bee. <laughs> oh. This one woman said, hey, you know, you'd make a really good girlfriend, but you got a little something special about you. So I wrote a little song for that, and it goes like this. He's a chick with a chunk, a babe with the balls, a bestie with the testes, and he ain't too tall. I'm Sally with a sack, Karen with a cock, Peggy with a penis. Don't let it come between us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You got it, Esmo. Uh, you won't be able to get that out of your head. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome our next student, Courtney Clayton. Let her hear it, Courtney. What's up, party people? My name is Courtney, and I...